the last couple of days is up 15, 16 percent from its lows. I'm just talking facts, Peter. I know you're upset when people talk <laughs> well, facts, look, but I, that's I'm not just a trend, talking facts. It? Well, no, I Let mean, go straight down. but as Christine said, no, when you're at ten, when you're at all time highs, Peter, you really don't have to say it's a trend. I know you don't like trends. I know you don't like numbers. I know you don't like facts. <laughs> but when you see mortgage applications very close to all time highs, all time highs are all time highs. They're refis. No, they're not refis. Well, they're more than that. Your picture, are. Peter. Paint us your picture. Yeah, you well, 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 wait a second. If they are refis, don't they mean money into the economy? Excuse me. Well, the government's giving away cheap money, so people well, are lining I didn't, up for well, it. We're not arguing about that. I'm just so saying there's money you know, coming you know, into you the you economy. Stephen's got, a, Stephen's got a perspective that indicates that uh, we might have bottomed out or in some parts of the economy, and maybe there's some hope at the end of the tunnel. You think that that light at the end of the tunnel is probably still a train? <laughs> exactly. It's probably it's a big train. Tell me what you think. Tell me where well, you think we are. Well, look, we have a serious, serious problem, and unfortunately, the government is making it worse. The reason that we're in trouble, or one reason, is we simply borrowed and spent too much money from the federal government, the state governments, Wall Street, individual mm -hmm. uh, households. We need to retrench. We need to reduce our spending and increase our savings. And of course, what Barack Obama is trying to do is the opposite. He's trying to force feed more Can borrowing and spending like into the economy. Cuts? Do you like tax no, cuts? I mean I like tax cuts if the government cuts spending. We need less government. Can, can, can and if I we want lower taxes, we need a smaller government. Can and that, look, that's wait, the state government. That's the state governments too. You know, no. in his plan, he says that he wants to right. give money to the states so they don't have to make cuts. Let, they need to make cuts. Let, let me ask Peter just one question. You don't mind? Just one question, Peter. Has there ever been in a case where any country anywhere in modern times has gotten out of a se severe recession, depression, without massive government no. stimulation. Government no. stimulus In other words, get you the out answer is no. No, no. The answer Steve, is you're no. You're wrong. Where? All the, all give me the, the examples. Give me the example. Look. No, because give me the example. No, every, nobody has ever let me talk. Look, look, all of the past stimulus that we have used to quote unquote get us out of recessions, that's why we're in this mess. You know, we did, the government interferes in the economy and exacerbates the problems. The recessions are the cures for the artificially artificial booms that governments create. And when oh, we so come what in, would the consequence no, no, be? No, no, let's no. follow this thought no, out no, for no. a second. What would the consequence be, Peter, if there wasn't government intervention? Because honestly, the, the proportion of people uh, who now say that the government shouldn't be involved. It was larger three, four months ago when we were debate, discussing uh, stimulus. It, is, it has become much smaller. Right, your crowd is getting small. I know, but it's wrong. The government can't do anything. The government doesn't have any wealth. But, but, All no. they can do is redistribute the wealth that we have okay. in the private but, sector. But, but, but when they do that, they make us less efficient. Can, can I just can I can I just say one thing? I mean, I asked Peter this question before. One example. I told you there let, has can, never been finish. Stephen. There has no, never no, been an just, economic no, downturn no, where no, the government has no, helped. No, no, no. I'm not asking that, Peter. That's not what I'm asking. You have a remarkable b b ability not to listen. And the question I'm asking, Peter, is there any example from the United States in the 1930s, et cetera, of a country coming out of a depression without well, massive government stimulation? What, what, in when the has 30s, there been a depression? In the 30s, it took the war to get us no, out, No, it didn't. Peter. Steve, yes, it did. Steve, what did then? Look, what, what did it get us right, out? What got us out of the depression was capitalism. We would have got out a lot quicker had the government not intervened. That is one of the biggest well, revisions in history. Well, the point that made well, earlier, and that is that the only year in which we we had uh, larger job losses than we did in 2008 was 1945 when the war ended. In fact, when the war ended, well, but capitalism was, didn't save. No, no, <laughs> the soldiers, well, soldiers lost their jobs. People, there was a transition. And manufacturers but we, lost their jobs. Right, manufacturing but, but, workers lost their jobs. But we had jobs. an economic boom. The market did that. There was a re reallocation. No, we no, had all actually, of our had, labor involved actually, in the military. Actually, there was Peter, a transition to civilian Peter, employment. If you look at government, in 1940, when we came out of the war, it was much larger as a percentage of GDP than it is today. Much larger. Because we had a war. Because that's we were exactly fighting my a war. point, Peter. But Steve. Now, thank you for, for agreeing but with me. But the war wasn't a good thing. It didn't, no, it didn't. The war didn't help the well, economy. I guess it depends how you felt no, about Hitler, you, Peter. But no. I mean, I you can really this is argue that. a spirited and friendly Look, discussion. And, I promise this is a friendly and, discussion. I mean, really, it depends. Steve, wars don't help. We had to fight the war. It was a burden we had to bear. It didn't help the economy. Peter, who should fight the wars, in your opinion? What does that have to do with well, I'm just asking you another question. Of, you have a remarkable of, ability not to answer the, the question. Of, you have a remarkable ability not to understand. For the, for the sake of commercial breaks and the fact that
that we actually, you know, have Didn't to. Did we say last time that we're going to have like a, a like an online uh, oh, version that people could just keep on right. watching this? No, listen, each of you, thirty seconds, wrap up what, where you think we're going, what the dangers are here, and what, why you think that okay, the dangers fine. might be behind us. You go first. All right, look, we have what's going to happen now is instead of allowing the free market to, f to function to rebalance this economy, the government is going to force us deeper and deeper into debt. They're going to.